Välkomna kära tittare. I det här avsnittet så ska vi prata om rymden. Det är ett ganska spännande ämne. Eh, och eh, framförallt då bolag som är verksamma i rymden. Jag står inte här ensam utan jag har med mig Nils Bus, vd på Gumspace. Bolaget då som sysslar med nanosatelliter. Och vi ska få höra mer om deras resa och vad de är på väg framåt. Och det här kommer bli i engelska. Nils är själv dansk. Men för er tittare skull så kör vi det på engelska. And now I'm going to do the transitioning over into English. Yeah. You, you did understand maybe a little bit of what I, I said. I understood a little bit, yes. Yeah. You probably understand me better than we would understand you. I speak a dialect of, in Jutland that you wouldn't understand. Okay. Too, so. so then it's good that we speak in English. Yes. Niels Bus, uh, CEO of Gomspace. Welcome. Thank you. So, I mean, give us the background. What is Gomspace? Gomspace is a company that makes very small satellites. Yeah. Satellites that, that can send, be sent into space and make services at a very, very low cost. Uh, it's much, much lower cost than traditional satellites. And with that, we expect the market to, to be much, much bigger than it have, has been so far. So, uh, I mean, what type of things are these satellites doing? What, what's their... Uh... What do you use them for? We are focusing on, on applications within radio technology. And yeah. one uh, important application where we were actually the pioneer is tracking aircraft. We de demonstrated that you can track, uh, we can track aircraft over the oceans, which is, has not been possible until a few years ago. Uh, that is a very narrow niche and a very, very important application. Yeah. You can find a number of that kind of applications that has not been possible before that you can do now commercially because it's a very low cost with nanosatellites. So, and that's your great ambition. I mean, you have to start off somewhere, uh, but yes. these satellites, I suppose you could use them at different things once you have them uh, fully functioning and up into the atmosphere. Uh, not, not, not a particular application you cannot no. use for many different things. When it's nanosatellites compared to old satellites, you make, it you make a, 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 a constellation of satellites for one application, no. and that's it. Uh, and then what happens is we create small niches compared to, to big markets as it was before, where you need many, many, many people to be customers. Here you, can, uh, uh, here you only require a few number of, of people to be customers, to have a good business plan. Yeah. So what your idea is to make this more affordable uh, because they're smaller and I suppose that uh, the technology is more advanced as well. Uh, so that's like your niche. Exactly. Yeah. If, if you think ab about other technologies, uh, computers from mainframe computers to, to small laptops to, to, to uh, uh, iPhones or things like that, if you take the phone industry, everything has become smaller much more, uh, many more functions and much uh, less expensive. Okay, so, but how did the GOM space journey start? When did the company, when was it founded and how, how do you start uh, to produce nanosatellites for the space? What was the idea and ambition? Yeah, it started, the, the company started uh, by students at Olbo University, yeah. where they decided to, to make a small satellite and send it into space. And that had become possible because after the Cold War, the big rockets for the nuclear bombs were not going to be used anymore. So there was a lot of lifting capacity that made it possible for students at universities to start playing with space, you could say. Yeah. And, and that started a completely new era where you didn't have to use uh, spe special components making very, very big satellites, very small satellites with standard components. Uh, so that's what, have, what, that's what, what uh, made the creation of what's called new space. Mm. Interesting. And to give the viewers a better understanding of what we're talking, you've brought a video. Yes. So let's show the video.
So Niels, what did we just watch? We just saw how uh, we are working with the satellites, how we are testing a satellite for, for flipping out the solar panels so that a satellite can harvest much more energy than just having smaller solar panels and, and, and how we are assembling uh, the, the satellites. Okay. So, okay, for, for me, who's a very novice in the space, and I mean, space is always interesting, uh, and it sounds uh, interesting to be a part of that journey, but so, okay, what's your ambition going forward? I, I assume you want to start mass producing these, or what's the ambition? Uh, our ambition is to turn the usage of satellite into something that is usable uh, for, or useful for many, many more people than it is today, uh, even though today, all of us are very much reliant on space infrastructure. You just don't know it. You, we care about motorways, we care about bridges, but we don't care about the, about the space infrastructure, but it's actually very important for us. Yeah. What we want to do is to make that, uh, that infrastructure much more useful for many more people. And, and not least for people in, in, in what's called the third world. Your famous uh, fellow countryman Hans Gosling have said there's nothing called a third world, but, and they are actually getting much more ready to, to, to progress. That is, what, uh, 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 that is where nanosatellites really can make a difference for, for, for many, many parts of the world where you don't have infrastructure uh, already. Space can do that in a much easier yep. way, a much quicker way. So we're talking about internet connection, phone services, things like that. They're yeah. going to make a leap forward, and then satellites are going to play a major role. Is tracking, that sort of tracking, tracking, uh, yeah. is, uh, 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 what's it called, systems and things like that, uh, okay. vehicles and airplanes and so forth. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. But okay, so that's the ambition going forward. Yes. Uh, but the last year, it's been somewhat rough for the company. Yep. Do you have any comments on what you've gone through this last year, two years? Uh, yeah. uh, if, you, if you mean about this, this, the stock price, I, I don't have a meaning about the stock price. I'm not a specialized, specialist in the stock yep. price, but, uh, but, but we have a project that we, have very much, uh, uh, we very much believe in. We believe that we can make many new applications for, for, for uh, uh, that way space may, uh, gives a good meaning. Uh, and, and we believe that our company is going to, to have a very great future in, uh, ahead of us. But what makes you going to succeed? What's, uh, what's going to make your company become the successful one? Yeah, we have started a road from where you make satellites as prototypes. Oh. Old space and also so far, when you make a, a satellite, you send it into space and that's it. What we are starting to do is we are industrializing space. We are, we are making a number of bigger constellations for our customers uh, and, and making it so you have a, a running production of satellites. And, and that's a very important step because that's uh, helping to get the prices down, to get the, the availability uh, up, and then also uh, uh, being able to, to make uh, new services. Um, and, and that's data you take down from space that is useful for, for us here on, on, on the Earth. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, you have your goal set, uh, and now you're looking to raise more money in order to meet your financial goals. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Why are you raising money now, and what's that money going to be used for? Uh, we, we, uh, we are raising money to fulfill our, 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 our next five-year uh, plan. Yeah. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a five-year plan where we are uh, aiming to reach 1.5 billion Swedish in 2023. Uh, we, are, we are raising the money now. In... Uh, in net profit or in, in turnover? In turnover, in, in turnover yeah, okay. yes, in turnover. Uh, and, uh, and we are raising the money now, uh, after having raised money a, a number of times to make sure that we can do heavy investments. Uh, but now we are saying we are, we are, we are going to raise, uh, hopefully going to raise 300 million Swedish, yeah. uh, and, and then we will not come back to the stock market because we, we aim to be cash flow uh, positive for those money. Okay, and when do you, hopefully get cash flow positive we have not put a specific date on okay it's very sensitive whether it becomes one the one quarter the next quarter but it's going to be midterm in in uh, in, in that next five-year period yeah okay yeah because uh, so give me an understanding of uh, the market space where your uh, company is a part of I mean, you're not you're yourself not going to send these satellites up into space you have you deliver them to companies that wants those and you have Yourself, companies that you're dependable on. Yes, yeah. we uh, we are making this. We are making technology for service companies. Yeah, 
and uh, the customers we have uh, uh, at the moment is universities, which, which is where we started the, the whole business. Then it's science institutions, space agencies and things like that. Then it's government uh, and, the, and the biggest one is commercial. And in the commercial area, we are testing what we call in-orbit demonstrations. That means you could have one or two or three satellites, put them in orbit and make demonstrations in that way. Yeah. Uh, um, and when the demonstrations have, have gone well, uh, uh, people are usually going for, for making a full constellation of satellites. And a full constellation is usually 100 satellites, maybe up to two or 300 satellites. But those companies are still new companies, new disruptors to, to, the, to the space uh, service market, uh, so they need to be funded. And that means that we need a portfolio of, of a, a larger number of in-orbit demonstration customers so that some of them can fail and a few of them get through mm -hmm. and buy the big constellations. Yeah. And we have a, quite a big number of in-orbit demonstration customers uh, that, that we either have or is on the way. It's, it's a very, very vibrant market at the moment. And, and one of the big things in, in that respect is that they come to us, first of all, because we can make the satellites, yeah. but also because we already have invested in production facilities. None of our customers have production facilities as we have. And, and when they come and buy the first satellites aiming to, to make a big constellation, they can see that we can actually make the satellites. Mm. So that's, that's a very, very important uh, uh, competitive advantage that, that we have. Yeah. And can you comment on any, anything on how big market share you have right now and what's the potential growth for the market? I, I think at the moment, we are, uh, I think we are, we, are, we are among the biggest, if not the biggest at the moment. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the others and, and our, our colleagues, we don't, call, we, they're actually not only competitors, they're also colleagues because we need more to bring investment in to make this new business segment. Uh, but, but I think we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are a little bit ahead at the moment. Uh, we, have, we always have to fight hard to stay ahead. Um, but one thing that is important about the market uh, and, and the market size is that we are developing new markets. Mm. So it's not only a, a, a you know, fixed market that's already there, we are participating yeah. in making new things possible. And that's what is really interesting because uh, uh, we, don't really, we can't really see the limit at the no. moment. The space. applications... Space, it's space, limitless. Yeah, space <laughs> is limitless. Uh, but uh, but um, um, uh, the, the applications, the possible applications are very, very big. Yeah. Uh, so that's what it make, what, what makes it really interesting to be in this market. Ah, oh, great. great. Niels, Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for presenting your company and your idea and vision going forward. And I uh, wish you a good luck in the thank space exploration. Yeah. And thank you all for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please shoot them in in the comment field below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.